Hello, hello, hello everyone. Today we are going to be making some mac and cheese. So let's get into it. I have my water boiling. And to the water, I'm going to add my vegetable oil. Go ahead and pour that in. Once it boils, you add in your pasta. I'm using elbow macaroni. And here are my ingredients. Sharp cheddar, Parmesan cheese for the topping, some tuna, half and half, and some rotel. So you go ahead and you pour your pasta in your boiling pot of water, stir it, now I'm stirring it because we don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot. So you stir it and after stirring, I'm going to add in some sea salt, which is the best salt, healthy salt, sea salt. And this is just to flavor up the noodles. And then you let it boil for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I have drained and here they are in the bowl. And this is where all the ingredients come into play. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my rotel. After the rotel, I am going to put in the tuna. Now, there are two packs because I like to taste my tuna. You don't have to add tuna to yours. It's optional. So you put in the tuna or any meat of your choice. You pour in the half and half. And the way I do it is once I see the half and half coming up in the bowl, like it's not covering the noodles completely, but it's coming up to a point where you can see it, then that's when I start pouring, see like so. And then I start adding my cheese, and I don't add everything together, I like to add and then mix, and then add and then mix, and then add and then mix. It's really whatever your preference is. Some, some people like it cheesy, some people don't, but what is mac and cheese without cheese? Well, a lot of cheese, uh, yeah, IDK, so. After this, I'm going to go ahead and stir, speed it up and stir. And then I'm going to add some chili powder and I add a generous amount. I am so sorry if you are looking for measurements, I will do my best next time, but I like to eyeball my seasonings and here I'm going to add some black pepper to give it a little kick so after adding the black pepper you stir again you want to make sure you stir it really good and then I just went ahead and added the rest of the cheese here and then I'm going to stir This is, uh, if you're not just getting, if your mouth is not watering just by watching this part, I don't know what's wrong with you. But this thing looks so good. stirring you go ahead and you pour it in your pan I'm using my glass yeah, that's what's called right? a pan yeah I'm using my glass pan and make sure you level everything out and once everything has been leveled out we're going to go ahead and top it off with the Parmesan cheese right here we're going to top it off with the Parmesan cheese and make sure that you top this off really good. Don't leave any gaps. Make sure you get every corner and add every all the Parmesan cheese. We're going to add all the Parmesan cheese to the top of your macaroni. Put it in the oven and we're going to let it cook for 45 minutes. 
here is the final result it looks so good and trust me the looks did not do it justice you just had to taste this to see how good it was i really hope that this video was informative and you are able to achieve this dish on your own thank you so much for watching thank you for tuning in please do not forget to support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel i will insert some pictures at the end as well uh, but i'm very very happy you decided to come and join me and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys and comment down below how do you make your mac and cheese